Hi, my name is Konstantin and I'm excited to present my new Max for Life plugin called Device Matrix. What is Device Matrix? Device Matrix is a plugin which lets you display and control up to 400 Ableton Live instruments and effects on a single screen. Use the basic feature of Device Matrix for the following tasks. Enable and disable single devices in chain or all the devices in project altogether, including the VST instruments. Quickly adjust amount or dry wet parameters. Use the map feature to quickly disable any group of devices. For example, you can listen to a track without compression or reverbs. Solo tracks one by one. And finally, you can get an instant project overview and produce stats on the number of devices in the project. Device Metrics is a perfect assistant when mixing, doing sound design or producing music. It is fully compatible with Ableton Live 10.1 and Ableton Live 11. Let's take a close look. I have created three versions of device metrics for you. One uses horizontal display of tracks and devices. This version lets you control up to 40 tracks and 400 devices. The other one uses vertical display of tracks and devices. And the third one is a light version, which you can use for running up to 10 different tracks. Let's create a copy of the plugin. For example, you can place it into the master channel or create a specific track and save the template. Loading this plugin may take up to 8 seconds on slower machines. Click Open Metrics. When you load the plugin for the first time, it looks like an empty table. To import the information from your project, click Get Devices. Depending on the size of your project, this can take 1 to 8 seconds. You'll see your list of tracks on the left side and your devices chain a little to the right. You can control up to 10 devices for each single track. In my own experience, 10 devices is sufficient for a single track. However, if you need more devices, you can group them. To demonstrate the plugin in action, I am going to press float from the top part of the menu so that device metrics stays on top of the other windows. To enable or disable a device, press the yellow button. This button is called device activator. You may also disable the entire chain of instruments by pressing this round button. You may also use this section to solo the entire track. A yellow indicator next to the solo button lets you know this track is selected in Ableton Live. If an effect has a dry wet or an amount parameter, you may adjust it using control which appears in the top part of the menu. Let's say, for instance, that I want to quickly adjust the dry weight parameter for hybrid reverb and multi-band dynamics effects for track 10 and 1. To do this, I need to select a cell with the name of the instruments or effect and the dry weight control will appear in the top of the menu. Dry wet and amount parameter control only works with Ableton Live native devices.
Here is another useful scenario for your process. Let's say I wish to listen to a track without compressors. To do this I press key in Ableton Live, then press device activator on DOS compressor I want to disable and choose the key from the keyboard. In this example I am going to use Q. By the way, a second monitor makes your use of device metrics even more convenient. Let's take a look a little higher. You can use this section to disable or enable off all the devices. You can also switch between groups of devices you have disabled and those you have enabled. Let's try and set up a quick switch between percussion and the melodic part of the track. You can see a field to the right, which you can use for editing font sizes. Then further on, you can see the information on the number of tracks and devices in your project. Please keep in mind that when you create or delete tracks or devices in Ableton Live, these changes will not be shown in device metrics unless you click Get Devices again. Get Devices button updates the information on your current project. Let's take a look at another version of this plugin. It has all the same feature as the one we have just looked at. The only difference is in the layout for tracks and devices. These versions displays them vertically. You may have seen a similar interface in other sequencers, such as Logic, Studio One or Pro Tools. Of course, you can also use Show Device Slots and Ableton Live Hidden Future. However, it currently works incorrectly. I hope you will find this plugin helpful when creating and mixing great music. If you have any question or suggestions you may wish to see implemented in the Device Metric plugin, feel free to leave a comment. Bye!